Hello, my lovelies, it's Susanna, and today I want to show you how to calculate this in your head. 2 to the power of 100 minus 2 to the power of 99. We have two powers and we want to subtract them. The bases are the same, which is good, but the exponents are different. So there is no rule how to subtract these two powers now if the exponents are different. But if we take a look at the exponents, 100 and 99, we can write the 100 in the way that we see that the 99 is part of the 100, right? We can write the 100 as 99 plus 1. And then we see, oh, the 99 is in this exponent as well. We leave the second power as it is with our 99 here. Now, the first power, yeah, we see that the 99 is in here now, but we have this plus 1 in here still. But there is a rule how to write this in a different way. If you have a sum in your exponent, so let's say something like x to the power of a plus b, then the rule says you can write this as two separate powers. You take your base x to the power of the first part of the sum, so to the power of a, and multiply this by your base and raise this to the power of the second part of the sum, so to b. This is the rule we want to apply here now so that we can write this power as. We take the base, so 2, and raise it to the first part of the sum, so to the 99, and then we multiply it by our base and raise this to the second part of the sum, so we raise it to the power of 1. We leave the second power as it is, and now we see that 2 to the power of 99 is in here in the first part as it is in the second part. The 2 to the power of 1, we don't have to write this 1 here, so we can just leave it like this. And now I want to factor out the 2 to the power of 99 because it is in both parts here and we have this minus here. So we factor out this green thing. And what is left in our parentheses then? I write down the minus. Here from the first part, if we factor out this green thing, only the 2 is left. And for the second part, well, if we factor out this green thing, what is left? You always have to remember that you have this multiplied by 1. So if you don't see anything here, only a 1 is left. And now we have 2 to the power of 99. And let's just calculate what we have in the parentheses. 2 minus 1 equals 1. So times 1, we don't have to write this. And we found our solution. Another way would have been if you knew that 2 to the power of 100 is just twice as large as 2 to the power of 99 because you multiplied it one more time by a 2. Then you have double a number here and you subtract the number itself and what is left is just the number itself. So this would have been another way. I'm curious how you solve this problem. Please let me know in the comments. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care!